Today, I wanted to experiment with this genre called color bass. Now I'm gonna explain to you exactly how I made this drop. From the drums, to the color bass, and the effects. Let's do the shit. The drums. And... It's a basic dubstep beat. Silent after the first kick and crash, and after four beats, a sweep. And by the way, the purple samples are from High Energy Sample Pack and the green ones are from Hybrid Bass Volume 1. I've layered two claps and a snare. Using the integrated EQ on the mixer, I've boosted around 600 hertz on the snare. Then I layered these two claps, pitched them both down, and removed their low end with an EQ, and turned up the high. And I ain't talking about the mild one. Also sent it to my reverb channel, where I have a reverb with a dry all the way down. The hats are pretty self-explanatory. I routed all them chits to my drum bus where I put the limiter. Put the ceiling all the way up and brought down the saturation to where I thought sounded cool. Super simple, straightforward, and fun. I found this technique where you route some chords, a dubstep bass, into a vocoder, and you get this shit. All right, so let me open up a new project and explain to you how that concept works. So you can make your own shit! First, you need some motherfucking chords. So let's just use flex. That's nice. Add a dubstep bass. We're gonna go with cheeseburger. I feel like this was pretty cool. So this is a pack designed by Ghidorah. Shout out to my boy Ghidorah. Put the chords on a channel. So splam. And then on this, we're gonna put a vocoder. Vocodex. Splam. The dubstep bass, put it to a channel right next to it. Splam. Now route the dubstep bass to the chord channel by right clicking on this shit and choosing side chain to this track only. Now this will send the signal, but you won't hear any audio, which is what we want. And now you want vocoders to receive that signal, so we're gonna put that shit on one right here. Now that you've done that shit, check it out. The sounds go from to this. That's all you have to do. So the chords actually are three different ones. First part, I'm using these two. Second part, I'm using these two. All of these sounds are pretty much from flex. On the chord channel, a Saturn, just saturation. Then I have an EQ that's ridiculous. Then I have the vocoder, obviously. OTT the shit out of it. Tantrum on it, a little bit of distortion. Or a lot of bits. And then my bass for a midifier rack. And I'm sorry for the glitches. I'm sorry, computer, I'm almost done. For the motherfucking bass, there is absolutely no processing at all on it. Just a very transient -y, like, sharp sound. And it's the hard hitter preset. All I did was just make it way tighter with these parameters here. This is the bass MIDI. I'm not really using the grid for this part, but then for the rest, it's all triplets. It's all triplets. Now let's keep in mind that, yes, I'm routing the signal to the chord channel, but I'm also routing the signal to a out channel so that I have a little bit of the original sound in the full mix of the drop. And all that shit together, it sounds like this. But it gets better. So I layered that with a sub. And this is a sub from the pack, it's just a sample. And I've just turned on the envelope here with a little bit of release, a little bit of attack, the hold all the way up. And I just copied and pasted the MIDI. So now it has bass and it's fucking sick. But when I played that with the drums and shit, I was like, man, there's some shit missing. And then I found this glitch. This one. I took a little part from it and then I pitched it up and I put the pogo all the way down, removed all the low end from it. Nice little laser. And I put that to follow the triplets. I feel like that gave it that little sprinkle sprinkle at the top that I really liked. So, okay. So, all right. So, okay. I channel all that shit to this channel called Color Base, where I have did some crazy EQ like that. I am pusher to like beef it up. I mean, this shit really beefs it up. And then a uh, Pro L, just like gnarly, like really making it fat. And then a Valhalla Room, which I am automating the mix on the drop here. So it's like very low and then it goes up and then slightly lower. Obviously, I'm side-chaining all that shit. I also wrote this little melody right here. Just to complement the drop a little bit. 
talk about the motherfucking effects. Real quick, the way that I did this vocal, I recorded myself saying rainbow rhythm. Rainbow rhythm. And I channeled it to the bass channel so that it modulates the chords. Rainbow rhythm. Now as far as these effects here, they're pretty straightforward. This is an impact I've reversed. This is an uplifter effect that I pitched up and shortened. Then we have some white noise sweeps. You know, all of this is to create flow. And this one here is actually an impact that I've pitched up 24, but also pitched down 600 cents. This way, the note will match the root note of my next chord. And that's going through some effects that are also affecting this guitar thing that I've recorded. I pitched it up and I turned the pogo all the way down. And the effects are patcher with a short delay, this is one of my racks, a Saturn to bring up the highs, a phaser, and a limiter. Now let's listen to all this shit together. I hope this video inspired you. If it did, make sure you leave a like. Oh! Look, hey, check it. Go ahead, leave a comment right now for a genre that you want me to try to make. And whatever the top comment is, I'll try to make that shit. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs>